By far the most memorable moment was when Alex Rodriguez struck out against Neftali Feliz in 2010 to win the American League pennant. So the Rangers finally were going to the World Series, and the way that it happened were uh, A-Rod, who had played for the Rangers for three years, for him to have made the out, sending the Rangers to the World Series, it was just euphoric. We had a bit of a rain delay. We're in the clubhouse laughing, joking, fully dressed up, cleats on, just give us the, give us the go time to go out there and play ball. Just couldn't wait for the first pitch to be thrown because we were really, really confident we were going to win that game and you know, punch our ticket to our first World Series against a really, really great team. And the way the stadium exploded, uh, I've never experienced a moment that emotional in my life. And I couldn't speak for about 45 seconds. I was so overcome by emotion. It was like this incredible, positive power and vibration that was just flowing through the entire stadium. It was amazing. I mean, I never had children, but I doubt the birth of a child could be any better than that. And I had the opportunity to go down into the clubhouse after the game and do some of the interviews. And the champagne was flowing, the owner was there, the players were jumping up and down. And it would have been much better if I was down there in uniform as a player. You know, anyone who's played here, whether you're, you play for the Rangers or you're a visiting team, you, know, you come here in July and August, everyone will tell you how it affects you. Um, whether you're here for three games or you're here knocking out 80 plus games, it's a beating. And I know our fans feel the same way, trying to make a day game in the middle of the summer. Uh, the next, the place across the street is going to make a massive difference. The big thing is the fact they're going to be able to watch a Ranger game now in comfort. And uh, so I'm not going to miss the, uh, the hot games on a hot summer day in Texas. The way I handle it is I sell my tickets on StubHub and I sit in my air-conditioned home and watch the game. <laughs> I'm not going to miss the fact that on afternoon games late in the season, because of the way the sun is here, uh, not being able to see the ball come off the bat because there's so much glare. We actually put the black under our eyes to you know, feel blinded by the sun. It's a pretty helpless feeling for a radio play-by-play -play announcer who's supposed to paint a word picture. This is our home, this is where we play, and ideally it should be more difficult for another team to come in here and wonder how we could ever play in this ballpark and to have our players act like it didn't even bother them. But for the fans, especially on a day game, when you have to sit out there and it's a hundred degrees and you're not sitting in the shade, it's unbearable. It's empty more because of how the team is doing. Uh, in 2011, 2012, 2013, you'd go to a summer day game and there'd be 40,000 people there. But I wouldn't throw this ballpark away just to have a new roof. And I think we all know that that's not why this new ballpark is being built. Because billionaires have to get richer. And the only way they can do that is with shiny new things that they can charge people a lot more money for. Announcing the first game here in this ballpark with Van Cliburn so distinguished in his tuxedo playing the piano so properly and perfectly the national anthem for the lead up to the first game. There was 50,000 people there. It might be the biggest crowd he ever played in front of. Well, uh, hopefully they look up at those stars on the concourse and immediately they get a little Texas pride. And then on the outside of the ballpark, the murals that uh, portray Texas history make the folks feel like there's some Texas hospitality here, which uh, to me is always pretty special. No, I love the architecture of this ballpark and just what a beautiful building it is. And thank goodness they're not tearing it down and we'll all still be able to enjoy that part of it. I'll go there, I'll love the air conditioning, I'll love all the new stuff, but that doesn't mean that I wish that had been built. I still wish this stadium would continue.